how to create a toolbar component using HTML, CSS under five minutes. Let us see. Here I am. I have a folder in which there is an image folder that has a logo, index, and style.css. And I have opened both of the files here. And I have linked the CSS with this. And I have the body tag. So let me just add some HTML for my toolbar header, a division for logo, and a division for navigation. And some of the navigation elements. Just added the logo. Now I just wanted to separate this header from the rest of the body content. So I would add some styles. Border should be the good option on px solid and i just want to add a soft hash color it's actually touching my content so i'd add some padding bottom around 10 pixels let's say 12 pixels yeah this looks good so i'll use the flexbox model to align my content here my toolbar logo on the left and my navigation on the right so here is it my parent item, my parent container is here, header, I'd say display, flex. As soon as I said, the alignment is changed. Earlier, the uh, both the div, ta div tags were kind of block elements. Now they are flex items since I created the display property as flex. So now all the elements inside the header are flex items. So they occupy the space, amount of space that they are actually accounted for in the parent. So I just wanted to push this navigation to the right hand side. There's a simple trick to it. So I have added a class for logo. Take this class and say the margin on the right hand side to auto. So I'm setting the right hand side margin. The rest of the, uh, so what happens here is the logo will take the right hand side margin, the entire space that is left after distributing it to the both of the flex elements. So now this way you can push the next element on the right hand side. If you need the other way around, like the logo on the right and content on the left, you could simply say flex direction, row, reverse, but you have to change the margin to left because now you need the margin. Now you want to push these elements onto the left. So I just don't want to do that way. I'm comfortable with my earlier alignment. So now I just want these items to center. So the entire navigation box, the block should be in center. Align items, center. No, not justify items. Align items, center. Now, this navigation is right in center of my logo. Now, let's make the anchor tags looks like Something else, not definitely as anchor tag. So all the anchor tags inside the navigation. So with a space, I'm actually referring to the child elements. So I just want the color to just match with my logo, something like that. I just want space between the items. This is fine. Now the font is not actually looking good. So, let me go to Google. This is the best way to add a font to your website. So go to Google, find out a nice font.
command to your index and paste them here. So if you go back, nothing changes because there is a new next step that you have to do. You have to assign the font family to all your all your elements. So what you can simply do, you can say star. This means what apply it on the all elements. Just make the font size or font family to enter. Now you can see the change. So let me demonstrate that without the font, inter font, and with the inter font. This is looking good. This is looking good. Now I come down. Text decoration is the property that if you wanted to remove the line under the anchor tags, so you can make it none. No. So if you wanted to make something as uh, look like activated button. So, so I can do like this. Fair enough. Now you can add this class on whatever the element that you want to. And now it is on the product dot logo img max width you could say 80 80 is kind of very small i'll make it 100 oh, sorry thousand so that's not it 120 i'm just making uh, trying to find the optimal size for the logo 140 looks good 